use presentations to visualize information that informs, educates, and persuades your audience. Maximize your presentations by making them engaging using imagery, charts, flowcharts, and tables. Take a look at this table within our presentation. There are two key elements you may recognize within the cells of the table, the green triangles. You've already learned in spreadsheets that the bottom triangle shows the formula for that cell. This means you can do calculations directly in your presentation. The top left green triangle indicates a destination link, so these numbers have a source elsewhere. This saves time because you don't have to copy and paste new versions every time supporting documentation changes. It's already linked, creating a truly dynamic presentation. Workiva presentations support linking within tables, charts, and narrative. To see this chart's data, right-click and select View Chart Data. Here, you can see which data is entered manually, actual, plan, and last year, and what information is being pulled from a source. Open Link Properties to see where that source is being pulled from and how many slides or charts it's being pushed to. Edit the chart by right-clicking within the chart and choosing Chart Properties. Here, you can make adjustments to create a chart masterpiece, including formatting labels, switching orientation, or changing colors. You can build to this presentation by adding slides with pre-existing slide layouts, creating an overall consistent feel. Let's create a slide that has a flowchart. So I'll add another text logo slide, which will provide the same color and font style. And now let's go to the top ribbon to choose the shapes to create the flowchart. Here you'll see shape options for basic, flowchart, lines, and connectors. If you're unsure how to use each shape, hover over it and it'll tell you what type of symbol it is. Insert the shapes, then use the alignment tools to orient them to each other. Connect the shapes using the green dots. They'll stay connected even when you move the shapes around. Double click within the shape to add text. If you find that one of the shapes just isn't cutting it, there's no need to delete and re-add it. Instead, use the shape properties panel to change them. So let's change this document to a database. And boom. Let's say I don't like the current slide layout. Well, we have a few options. First, we can use the slide properties panel to change it to any already existing slide layout. Let's try out a few. And if that still doesn't fit our needs, we can go to view layouts and make adjustments to the existing slide layouts or create a completely new slide. Once you're done, click back and you'll land right back on your presentation. Now you'll see that the changes you made will be shown throughout your presentation. If you like what you've done and your teammates want to use your masterpiece too, make this presentation into a template. Now others can use the create menu to make a presentation using your template.